Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 7th of January. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather nice and quiet today, tomorrow, and Thursday. But rain and storms come back on Friday and Saturday. We have the dual threat of heavy rain and flash flooding and severe storms along the way. So very active pattern. Let's go in there and talk about it. We'll start with the upper air look early this morning. A trough approaching from the west and is expected that uh, produced a little light rain overnight. This was the radar while you were sleeping uh, the northern half of the state is going to get a bit of, of rain. Most locations really not getting enough to measure. And that rain is long gone and a new surge of dry air coming in here this morning. Temperatures are mostly in the 40s and 50s. We're expecting a high in the upper 50s. Temperatures won't rise that much today with cold air advection. Uh, that feature that brought the light rain in here overnight, producing some snow today for parts of Virginia, Maryland, uh, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, eastern Kentucky. Winter storm warnings in effect for parts of the northwestern states, but things are quiet down here. Here's the severe weather outlook today. Maybe some thunder on the upper Pacific coast, and that's about it. But the focus begins on day four, which is Friday. A risk of severe storms across parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana. A higher 30% ring around the Arklatex. That includes Tyler, Longview, Shreveport, Texarkana. And day five, which is Saturday, a risk of severe storms across the deep south. All of Mississippi, Alabama, the adjacent states, the higher 30% prob probabilities are over parts of west and south Alabama. And, of course, we'll talk about this in more detail in just a minute. And more soaking rains. Goodness, this year is getting off to a wet start. This is the rain for the next seven days. This is suggesting rain amounts for the northern half of the state between four and six inches. So needless to say, flooding will be a concern Friday and Saturday. Rain amounts for the south about two inches, the southern counties of the state. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS. This is the 06E run, 3 o'clock this afternoon, troughing east of the state. And for us, a beautiful day. Bright sunshine, upper 50s today. Rain and snow northeast of the state. Snow for parts of Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania. Looks like Washington, D.C. and Baltimore kind of sitting on that rain-snow line. Wednesday should be a sunny day. We start the day around freezing. The high should be around 60, a beautiful day. This is Thursday. The gulf begins to open up. The wind's out of the south, but we think the weather will stay dry. The high Thursday should be in the mid to upper 60s. And then Friday will bring in the chance of rain. Rain at times, very mild. Low 70s are likely. Maybe some thunder, but the severe weather potential will be west of the state on Friday, mainly along and east of Interstate 35, uh, south and east of that surface low near Oklahoma City. And again, that could be an active severe weather day for them. And then Saturday, that uh, uh, upper feature moves in here. And again, you can see that uh, it goes negative tilt, the trough, providing very good diffluence aloft. Down at the surface, that's the GFS. And this is the European. It looks a little more ominous with a really deep surface low that's uh, located northwest of Nashville, under 1,000 millibars. And we note some uh, nasty snow and ice in the cold air north and west of that thing. And, of course, the chance of severe storms in the warm sector down here. This is the instability on Saturday, and this is Saturday at uh, 3 o'clock. Uh, instability values exceed 1,000 joules for the southern part of the state between 500 and 700 for the central counties and uh, slightly lower up in the Tennessee Valley. But that's certainly sufficient for severe storms in the cold season. And this is the lightning flash density product coming from the European model. And obviously, we'll have some active convection. But like we've talked about, until we get really within 60 hours of this thing uh, later this week, it's going to be just impossible to talk about the timing and more specifics about this. But no doubt it will be a day with the potential for storms with hail damaging winds and a few tornadoes will it be linear a qlcs type thing will we have more discrete convection we just don't know that yet but saturday will be an active weather day no need to be anxious about it but just know now that you'll need to be in a position to hear warnings if they are needed and know what you're going to do if you get into a tornado warning polygon so again that's saturday now sunday it's all gone 
There's no cold air behind this. In fact, we'll be in the upper 60s, a really beautiful day on Sunday. But Monday, boom, the rain is back with the next wave. Mild with rain, maybe some thunder. Then a week from today, troughing in the west, ridging in the east. And we'll call it uh, partly sunny. And again, there might be some rain activity around, probably not much. We stay mild, highs in the 60s. Let's go out 10 days. This is Thursday of next week, the 16th. The zone will flow, and that looks dry and fairly pleasant. Colder air north of here. Check the rain off the European for Birmingham, off the ensemble. The mean, about six inches. Wow. Uh, between now and the end of January. Goodness, this year's getting started off wet. And look at those numbers like springtime. Highs on most days in the 60s and lows in the 40s and 50s. Winter, where are you? Well, it's out west. This is the CPC temperature outlook for the 14th through the 20th. Temperatures below average, very cold in the western and northern states, but around here, ridging, very mild. And until this thing goes negative, the Arctic Oscillation, it's going to be hard for the cold air to be flushed out and uh, moving down this way. You look for the mean, that's the green line, and notice it stays in the positive range. The control tries to go negative, but again, for now, it looks like it's going to be mild here, at least for the next 10 days. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. AS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.